What's up, guys? Uh, I know, two videos that quick, back to back. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm figuring stuff out here. Or maybe it's just I have a, uh, another quick video for you guys today um, with just some more information. Another company reached out to me, a company that I've already tried out and a company uh, that, whose product I already like. And uh, yeah, so uh, I want to talk about it a little more because I used it a lot on the last feature shoot I did. I mentioned it in that video. The link for that video will be in the description below about behind the scenes on the feature film Force for the Trees that I was working on. And uh, this video is about the Comica WM100 Plus A wireless microphone system. Now what I like about this system is that you could tell they wanted to appeal to a market that was more prosumer at a low budget. So they didn't worry about cosmetically making it look the best or the toughest. What they did was they put all the money into making it sure it worked better than anything else at its price point and that's what I want to talk about. So up front you get a no-nonsense but sturdy and rugged case. Uh, we put it through the ringer on set and uh, no tears, no anything. Um, inside this pocket here you have your lavaliers, your dead cat, and your ways to hook up the receiver to either a cell phone, a DSLR camera, a cinema camera, or an audio recorder. And that is nice to have those things included, which you don't normally see at this price point. And then under here, besides the manual, you have a receiver and two transmitters and some leftover tape of some sort. So basically what that means is you can have two lines out going into one receiver and that can be good for certain things but for my use case unless I'm doing no even if I'm doing that I usually only would use one at a time unless I was in a pinch like I was in the movie there were times when because all the other mic packs which at the time were wireless goes and knockoff wireless goes they all went out and we had to put two people on one channel because this system was the only thing working at that time until our sound guy came on day three and brought some Sennheisers. And uh, yeah, so that was the first good thing about this system right here. There were times when other systems on set were having the microphone, because it was a physical set, so the actors would move around and, and the mic would come out of the receiver. And that never happened with this system because there's locking lavaliers with a system that can receive locking lavaliers. So no matter what, the cord would break before the connection would get lost and you would really have to do some damage for that to happen. Also, because we were filming in a bus, there was a lot of technical interference. There was a solar panel on the ceiling that was playing havoc with other... Do you guys see that too? Well, I guess we move on. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh God, you got me all flustered over here. Sometimes, man, it's hard to get good help these days. Um, anyways, other systems were losing connectivity even at a distance of like a foot. They just, there was interference. There was clicking little things. These things were rock solid. And the only time, which was one time I heard any little thing, I could change channels because you can change channels on these and they're not just on the, uh, the same wavelength as uh, cellular telephones. So that was awesome. Then on day three, when the audio guy did come, we still used these, but we didn't have to use them two to one. We used one person at a time. And because they were rock solid and we used the mics they came with and everything, um, we were able to put them on our secondary talent who weren't talking as much, but we were still able to match them up with Sennheisers with Countryman's plugged into them. And that is a pretty good thing. Now that wasn't exact, but with a good audio engineer, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And uh, that's why I really, really speak highly of this for the price. I don't think you can beat them. Like I said, cosmetically, they look like any other budget wireless system. And uh, that's what I was expecting when I first got them, but they have proved me wrong time and time again. I also like, if you look in the back here, that you can power them 
with AA batteries, so you're not at the mercy of the internal batteries in the system. Now, if you don't want to power them with AA batteries, you can use an external battery just like you can with any other audio gear. You can put this in your audio bag, which is what we did. We hooked this up with the battery we were using inside the audio bag and you're ready to go. So it's like a prosumer audio wireless lavalier system with pro features and more pro features than most at the price point it's in. Um, I'll have a link in the description below to these if you wanna check them out. I highly recommend them if you need decent lavalier audio. That's all I got for you today. If you uh, like this video, go ahead and uh, hit that button down there. If you want to subscribe here, I would really appreciate it, even if you hit that little bell even more so. Every time you hit that little bell, I hear it in my ear, and my dog lives another day. They're telling me I can't, I can't legally say that. Um, it, would, it, would, it would mean a lot to me. Is that, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't hold the same water. You guys know I'm not really talking to anybody. Um, if you want to call me out on that, hit me up in the description. Not the description. I say description every time. The comments down below, as long as you remember, not a competition. Let's all rise in this business together. I'll see you guys next time. Wa-bam!